Hello, welcome to another Zymac video support. Uh, now this one is actually for the Joomla. So a lot of people have been going on the IRC and asking about Joomla, and this will help you out. First thing first, go to your Zymac hosting control panel. Whatever one you want to host Joomla on, go to your database management. Now I've shown you how to make a database on one of my recent videos. I'll show you on here. I usually keep everything short, so this way, at the very end, I don't have to remember a lot of things, and I usually don't remember a lot of things because I usually keep everything simple, and I just copy and paste from right here. Now I usually just go, user, keep it very, very short. Password, you can have it whatever, just don't have it the same as your Zymac hosting control panel password, please. You want it to be different. You always want your passwords to be different. Now, as you see, it's successfully made, and I've just assigned the privileges to the user. That's the important thing. So you always want to assign the user to the database, and this is how you can tell that you have it assigned. Now, a lot of you might think, oh, it's going to be hard to do it, so I need to upload a zip file to here and unzip. Zlib is disabled. Don't try it. So what you want to do is actually want to unzip from your computer and then upload it to your hosting account and you can do it by an FTP client which Zymac says use FileZilla. It's the better one. And this is all your Jamula stuff. And you see I just hit select all, right click, upload. And voila. Now it's about 14 megabytes, so this is going to take a while. I'm going to pause this video, and then we'll be back right at the end. Now, as you see, it's actually copied onto your account, onto your hosting account. Now, what you like to do is you actually want to select all, go to file permission, type in 777, and hit received into all subdirectories. You want apply to all files and folders. What this do is will make it where everything can be readable, writable, and executable. So, once this is done, I will be right back. Alrighty, so I have everything all set up on my FTP, and I'm going to keep this window open because there's a certain reason why. And as you see that the changes dash 2.0.1 did not get transferred, that's fine. You don't need it. It's not important. It's not critical. Just delete it. And you see it transferred everything else. What I usually do is I just select all and delete. And it just clears out that thing. So I'm going to keep this up. Now, I just clear all this out. Now, as you see, once I go back to File Manager, we click it. You'll see that everything's there. That's what we want. So you should just right click and then just go to new tab. And we get inset errors. This is what you guys need to fix. So I said keep the FTP or keep the FTP client open. So I usually usually go to the file where I have or the folder where I have all my Jamula stuff. And I just take a look. Now it's saying that for me, I need to go to uh, libraries, do more uh, session, and then session PHP. So I go to libraries, do more, uh, search for session, and then I just open up session.php. I use a program called Notepad++ because it has all the numbers there for me so I can see what line it needs. So. It says on line 102. So I just go to here and I just scroll straight down to 102, which is right here. Find that. That's all. Put the S on. And then look for another one. It says 105, which I just fixed. 688. Now that's pretty far down. So we go. 688. Do, do, do. Uh, Six, eight, eight. That's it. And then 
Go four, two, three. The session start. Done. So what you do, just follow this up. And then you got four two six. Which is right there. David. Now what you do is you're gonna go on here. So which means you're gonna go to your library, do it on both. Moolah session and then right here. No, I do. It asks, oh, target file already exists. Always hit this. And now it's over. So once now, when I refresh, you don't see any of that errors on top. Now, as you see, it has a few nodes. Zlib compression support, no. It's disabled for security reasons. So don't even ask for it to be undisabled. Shift mode is on for a reason and display errors is gonna be on for a reason too. Don't ask for safe mode to be turned off or anything like that. It's gonna be on and it's gonna remain on. Now, we're going to scroll down, see what we got. It's just a GUI. GNU, GUI, it's just a public licensing. It's copy, the software is copywritten, but it's an open source software. Now, as it says, you have your host name, username, password, and database name. Host name is always going to be local. Host, don't change it. That's Zymac local host. It's not 127.168.0.1. It's not anything like that. It's local host. Don't do that. Now, the user, like I said, I always copy and paste. So you have six numbers, underscore, score, and then the username. And then here's your database. That's it. I was having a password as well. You always need a password set up. Just hit next. That's it. You're all done. Don't use an FTP. There is no FTP to be used. Don't use it. I have your site name. Choose an email. Always do email address. Choose a password. Make it your own. You can always install the simple data or you can load a migration script. I'll just install the simple data to show you. And hit, and hit next. Now it says, you have to remove the installation directory. So what we're going to do, our remote sites, just going to put that. I'll send us right back to our root. See, root. Installation, delete. Yes, I want to delete. I don't care about it. Well, it takes a little while to do, so we'll pause. Now, as you see, I don't have the installation directory anymore. So what that means is I can go now to my site or my admin. I'll show you what the admin looks like, and I'll show you what the site looks like. So I'll click the admin. And your username will be admin, A-D-M-I-N, and you type in your password. This is going to be on here somewhere, so I don't need it on. Now, it says error loading feed data. It's just saying any incoming feed is error. There's no incoming feed. It, you're not going to get any incoming feed. Now look. And then, voila. There's your Jamula. Your Jamula site is now up and running. And you're all set. And you see it has to add some boxes. And that's where you can change everything in your article manager. In your front page manager. Here's all your articles. You can delete it all. You can edit it. You can make a new one. You can change the parameters. You can archive. You can unarchive. You can unpublish it all, which will make it all unpublished. And of course, you have your 
menu manager, front page manager, you have everything here. Front page manager is what's going to be on the front page. Which, see, if you watch, I unpublish everything. See, a lot of the stuff now gets unpublished. You know, this latest news and everything. And that's how you set up a Joomla site on Zymac. If you ever need any help, I'm on the Zymac IRC at livechat.zymac.com slash hosting. Or if you have an IRC client, the IRC server is irc.zymac.com. And the channel is hosting. This day, I'll get four videos.